a, a few reasons uh, we can we can establish four factors to Cleopatra's return to Alexander. The reasons Cleopatra flees. First, the primary reasons evolved. Cleopatra is not a central figure to be ordered to fight or to defend her country since the war is not waged against her, but against Antony. Remember, she was there in support of Antony. Remember that part where her and Eno Barbus were arguing, should she be there or not? Um... Also, consider Actium's geographical location in Greece, not in Egypt or anywhere close to it. Second, expectations. On the one hand, Antony does not show that he is in urgent need of Cleopatra's services. On the other hand, the queen would not consider the possibility that Antony could be romantically drawn to her at any point during the battle, let alone when the fight was at its height. Act 3, Scene 10. Third, the significance of the battle for Cleopatra. Since Antony has a plan B, right, if, if they lose by sea, he'll fight by land. The Battle of Actium does not require the full attention of the Queen or her fighters. Finally, the status of Antony's camp. Since the battle was going well for Antony, Cleopatra must have felt that she and her navy were no longer needed. With these four factors taken into consideration, uh, we can think of Cleopatra offstage. Since she is not much involved in the caesar antony military equation and is on the battlefield only for support, it is very likely that Cleopatra had independently planned to keep fighting until she was sure that Antony's army had gained the upper hand. When they reach the stage, she pulls back to Alexandria, avoiding further human losses on her side as well. However, when she discovers that Antony has followed her, Cleopatra resorts to lying when explaining her departure to him. Had she told him the truth, he would likely have become angry with her, for it would appear as though she had abandoned him when in fact she left the war zone because she did not see a need for her to remain there as a client queen. Therefore, the best way to justify her action was to think of something naturally excusable in a woman fear, so it would appear to be an act of escape rather than a pre-planned retreat. That, that's just one thought. Indeed, as Cleopatra is conscious of how male Roman characters think of women in their nature, if she gives them an excuse based on her nature as a woman, all will immediately forgive her and believe her. Um, so th that's a few thoughts on perhaps why Cleopatra left, based on what we have a you know, based on these notes, who is responsible for the vanquishment of Anthony by saying that is definitely not Cleopatra. Remember, it's a fortune and chance neither wholly or partially, and while we may now be more understanding of why Antony left the battlefield, his choice to fight Caesar by sea and the subsequent abandonment of his alternative strategy are what led to his ruin later, for his military strength lies in his ground forces, regardless of the extent to which fate took a hand the outcome of this armed clash and the ensuing downfall of Antony. So those, those are just a few notes on some of the reasons Antony... Uh, his, his thoughts and some of the reasons why Cleopatra fled the battle.